Hey Fancy Action Now fans, this is LVA Hotor of the Fancy Action Now, and I wanted to share a really important video that I watched uh, this morning. It's Fallout 76, how to make a claim when they refuse a refund. And it is chock full of useful information and it's from a YouTuber who is a copyright attorney uh, named Lawful Masses with Lettered French. He is a gaming uh, fan. Um, lots of, there you go, lots of really cool information on how if you feel that you were cheated and you were denied refund and you were baited and switched, what are the remedies that you can use to get your bag, get your refund, get your appropriate discount, not your five bucks. There's also another video out there by another YouTuber that says, Be, uh, don't fall into the five, 500 Adams trap because that is, they're offering you a remedy, right? That's a, be that's a benefit to them. So Bethesda's coming out there and go, look, if you don't like it, um, here's 500 atoms, here's $5, and we'll settle it for you. And if you go and you get those 500 <laughs> atoms, basically you've accepted their remedy. You've basically said, well, I'm waiving any other claim, I'm gonna take this five bucks, and I'm gonna be on my way. And that's fine, if that's, if that is, if that's an accommodation that you're comfortable with, fine. But if you're not, if you want the refund, or if you want uh, the, uh, the, the actual bag. Uh, he goes through uh, their terms of service and exactly how they have it set up to deal with these things. And, it, and they have tried to protect themselves in their terms of service from class action suits. Possibility is still there depending upon whether or not they fulfilled their own terms of service. You can make a claim that they didn't even, they weren't acting in good faith they didn't fulfill their terms of service and it's not applicable. I mean, you can go ahead and make any claims that you wish uh, or an attorney or a, a law firm can go ahead and do that. You can still approach it from a, la uh, a class action perspective, but they have tried to protect themselves in their terms of service from class action and in doing so, they have selected arbitration, which means they have to address the claims of every individual. So instead of a class action that comes to them and says, okay, we represent everybody that purchased it, or we represent 10,000 individuals that purchased your product, and they can settle it for all 10,000 people, Bethesda has, has, has uh, taken away that option from themselves and, and basically has gambled on the fact that they're not gonna get a lot of individual claims. They have to address within their own terms of service, every claim received has to be, every individual, every single person has to be addressed individually. So you can write a letter to Bethesda that says, I purchased this game, here's a, you know, a photo, or here's a image of my receipt, um, I'm dissatisfied, this is a defective product, and I want a full refund. You can send the check to here. This is the remedy I want. Uh, or, hey, uh, you substituted the bag, uh, I feel it was deceptive, I want the actual can canvas bag, please have that bag produced and sent to me, at your expense. Th if that's what you want, if that's what you feel you deserve, which you, which you certainly are, which you're certainly entitled to, these people that have spent this money, um, then you can, eat, you can send them a letter and saying, please resolve it. If they don't respond in 45 days, then it goes to an arbitration. Now, the, the, the funny thing that Bethesda says in their own terms of service is they accept all costs for the arbitration. So they have to pay the arbitration, their fees and your fees while the arbitration is going on. Now, the risk to you as an individual is if you lose the arbitration, if they fail to prove, uh, if you fail to prove that there was some some uh, deceptive practice going on, which which uh, doesn't seem like it's too hard in this particular scenario, but let's just say the risk does exist that if uh, you lose the arbitration, you have to pay your half of the arbitration fees. Arbitration begins, just to start arbitration, begins at between 900 and $1,000. So it's a significant amount of money. There is risk involved, but 
Initially, Bethesda absorbs all cost until the resolution is, is achieved. And if it falls in your favor, then they have to pay all arbitration costs and make you whole, and they have to give you your remedy. So if you go in there and say, hey, I want a bag. Well, we're not gonna give you a bag. Well, we're gonna offer you 500 atoms. Well, I, you know, that's, that's not, so I wanted a bag, I paid for a bag. It was a canvas bag, not a nylon bag. I want the bag. That's what I was promised, that's what I paid for. I want the bag. And it can go to arbitration. They can either go ahead and fulfill the bag, or they can spend the 900 plus dollars to open arbitration with you and then if they lose they have to give you the bag anyway and pay all the arbitration costs again the risk to you is you would have to pay your half of whatever arbitration costs there are so uh it's interesting it's really interesting stuff and he really outlines it in it's like an eight minute video i highly recommend that you watch it uh again it's fallout 76 how to make a claim when they refuse a refund. It is something that any gaming customer, consumer, gamer, period, should understand what your rights are. You have a tremendous amount of power as an individual, particularly in the United States uh, and within the legal system. Uh, again, if you're uh, operating in good faith, you're paying your money, you're a decent citizen, you have a lot of authority, a lot of power for redress. So, uh, you know, just understanding this as we go forward in this highly unethical industry where it seems like it's totally okay to produce a defective product and shill it to people for full price. I mean, God, if you bought a car, if you bought a car and you paid an extra, let, let, let's just say, you know, what, what, what's leather in a car? Well, if you, like the leather, it's like usually like $2,500 extra, $1,800 extra or whatever for leather. You know, okay, so you go, hey, you know, I bought my, uh, uh, my Honda Civic uh, uh, Hybrid Go and I got the leather upgrade, yo. And you go and pick up your car and, they're, and it's cloth and you're like, wait a minute, I ordered leather. Yeah, sorry. Well, did you reduce the price of the vehicle? Nah. But I ordered the leather. Yeah. You charge me the same? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's robbery. It's robbery. It's literal robbery. It's like, oh my God. I, you know, it's just... <laughs> oh my God. Why do you think they dropped the price on this game so quick? Within a week. Within a week, within a week, they drop the price on this game. Why? Because they're going to be sued. They know they're going to be sued. Their lawyer told them, drop the price now. Are you sure? We drop the price now. You sold a game at a price point that's a fully fledged product. There are other fully fledged products in the marketplace that are charging that amount. This is a half-baked piece of mess, and you cannot charge full price for this thing. Drop the price in half. <laughs> I guarantee their lawyer was like, drop the price now. You took a chance, you rolled the dice, you screwed the pooch, now it's time to pay the piper. Drop the price, because we are likely, we are, we are 90% gonna have to deal with fallout from this action. This is LVAO Tour of the Fancy Action Now. If you like the law and consumer law and the rights of the gamer, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to Lawful Masses with Leonard French entertaining presenter he's a gamer he's a lawyer uh and what a wonderful video the video is called fallout 76 how to make a claim when they refuse a refund every gamer should watch this video peace out Hey Fancy Action Now fans, this emergency broadcast is brought to you by LVA Toro for the Fancy Action Now. And we have a very special announcement for our subscribers to the Fancy Action Now all the way to the first of the year. Retro Gamer and Backups has emailed me a coupon code for Fancy Action Now discount 2018 for 10% off your order at Retro Gamer and Backups. Take advantage of that.